is crap. Hey, yeah, yeah, we're live here. Well, not live, we're on Memorax. Yeah, my name is Spetty. And I'm Magnar the Merrymaker. Merry Christmas, we're the Early Brothers. Welcome to the last Christmas special before the apocalypse. Yeah, because we're all going to fucking die. 367 shopping days till the apocalypse. Yeah, buy me something expensive. Hello Kitty. Yeah, some Hello Kitty shit. I'm stoked. So, yeah, Kim Duck Hill ain't so well anymore, are you? No, you're fucking dead. You're yeah. only 60 some years old and now you're fucking dead. Now come with some young guy, your son, he's in charge now, and he racks discipline. Kim Duck dead. Kim Duck dead. Ruh row. Ruh row. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, who's who's the next despot to go? That's a little freaky to think about. What with all the new <coughs> nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. and their close proximity to to China, their pals in China. So yeah, there's that. Have a good fucking time with that, North Korea. You know, you're all crying and shit on TV because you got machine guns pointed at you when we know you fucking were afraid of him and hated him. He starved a million of you starved you. Well, you know, they live this Orwellian existence that, that we can't even... You walk around like if you and I were to have a conversation and be, you know, very hush-hush, we'd be fucking major league dissidents more than likely. But you're not gonna fucking do anything to bring attention to yourself, because... Uh, other than being electrodes on your nuts, six foot one and two hundred and fifty pounds, you're gonna stand out. As long as you shave your head and sit and look happy, you'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, my a lot of people rubbing on you. Yeah. Well, who does? You know, I, I always wondered about you know my brother to our brother Tuborg the Golden. Yeah. Those pictures of him when he was young. He looked a little North Korean to me. He might be some sort of Manchurian candidate. I don't know. I don't really know. We'll have to read we'll his next to, blog and well, see well, yeah. how he feels about Kim Duck Dad. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll plug his, his, his blog, Superman Hates Republicans. Check it out. He's the smart part of the family. Yeah. He's, he's not fucking idiot reactionaries like us. He puts pen to paper. Pen to paper, yo. Metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically Nobody speaking. Actually puts pen to paper, you know. No. So, what else? Well, uh, there's lockdown again in uh, Washington. The payroll tax thing is yeah. covering Yeah. Because, yeah, that fucking thousand dollars a year average is going to save us all. You know, I don't know no, whether I'd to take it or keep it or... I'd tell him to keep it if I thought things were going to get better. Yeah, if... Okay, here's... It goes back to my argument about having a better country. Yeah, it, exactly. Keep my thousand dollars if Rich Piggy will throw in, what, what? Ten? Ten? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well... That's, that seems fix it, fair fix to me. Fix the schools and shit. Let's get our shit back together. Whatever it takes. Fix the schools and quit having so many fucking kids and put them in them schools. I just don't trust them. I think Duggers. I think they'll keep the money and waste it. Well, you know? it seems to be what they do. And disperse it here and there to whoever's got the the juice some other, at the time. Some other pig fucker. Yeah. Somebody, you know, imagine what Eric Cantor could spend on his eyebrows alone. It, it, it's mind-boggling and his huge pectoral implants. How about taking on the lobbyists head-on? How about, having How about just getting rid of them, telling them to go the fuck home? Seems pretty simple to me. Seems pretty cut and dry. No, Dylan Radigan's Get the Money Out. Check that out too, folks. Getthemoneyout.org. Sign up. I did. Did you? Yes. He's a liar. He's not a joiner. He's a bazooka. I was like, uh... So, you went and saw you some cake uh, up to the Saltaire. Saw cake at the Saltaire. It was a lot of fun. They were a really cool show. There was probably 5,000 people. There was a ton of people there. How were the, how were the security? Uh, they were pretty cool. Everybody was pretty mellow. People were going out on the grass. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Nobody uh -huh. seemed to bother them out there. See, I think, I think it matters what show. 
Who's playing? Well, it seems like though a Rob Zombie show is one of those shows, isn't it? You know. Of course, I, I know they're not like a reggae show, but still. You found the one guy in the whole place. The one guy. It was Kismet. Fate, if you the will. The one douche. The one douche. Say. Yeah. Yeah, well, you didn't miss nothing. Yeah, you did. It was awesome. But anyway, so there's that. So cake was good. The security treated you well. They played war pigs. They played war pigs. It seemed very so. Which aware. is my favorite love song. It was great. And all in all, a really good time. I had my doubts, but it was a cool time. It's great. I wonder. Wow. I wonder if there's any correlate. Okay, I'll have to think about that. You know, usually you like. Yeah, we'll either have a really good time or get in trouble or. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel well, like I was kind of bored to go. To tell the truth, I I was like, well, you know, Kate, but but it turned out to be a lot of fun and they were high energy. It was a, a serendipitous occasion. It was a cool crowd. It was all right. Oh, good, good, good. All right. Saw some peeps there. Some peeps, did you? Yeah. Nice. You missed Guns N' Roses. It was the same night over to the Maverick Center. I missed them both. And it was a hard decision to make. I'll bet. Yeah, Chris of the Giant Melon went. The Guns N' Roses? Yeah. yeah what yeah. do you think? He said it was pretty damn good. I heard from other people it was good. But you know what else I heard? That guy always bugged me. Yeah, fucking Axel. I always thought if it wasn't for Axel, they could have been a pretty good fucking band. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? But now... Squirrely fucking... Well, see, here's the deal. Apparently, it's against the rules to go to a Guns N' Roses concert and wear a top hat. Now, how little dick and fucking insecure is that? Yeah, Axel, you're a douche, and I know you'll see this. And you're a douche. You're a giant douche. Okay, okay, I'm done. My 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 New Year's wish is for Axel not to be such a damn douche. Well, yeah, you can put those hypnotic spin wheels on top hats. Yeah, yeah. I you got a bunch of those shooting at you from out in the audience. I don't know. I might fuck with you. Yeah. I might fuck with it. your squiggle. Mm -hmm. Your wiggle. Yeah. No, I'm glad I went to Cape. Well, good. I'm glad it was a pleasant experience for you, Magnar. There is hope, maybe, I but I doubt it. I wouldn't go that far. All right, good. They made you feel like there was hope, though. All right. Well, okay. Now, my new, my real New Year's wish is for you all to just chill the fuck out and think about what you're doing. Think about what you're saying. Think about who you're going to vote for. And don't just chuck it away. I don't think there's much thought. It doesn't. There. It doesn't mean much in Utah other than bragging rights. But at least you know, think about what you're doing. Think about what you're teaching your children. You know, you're not born a douche. You raise a douche. Wow, oh, man, the Republican Party's a carp in the sun right now. Uh, we'll see. Just They're de cheating bastards. The They're cheating sons of bitches. They're the Bill Belichick of politics. Evil intent. I don't know how they claim to have any correlation with the family. That kills me. Yeah, what? What does Rush Limbaugh and family values have to do with each other? Oxy, Viagra, yeah. uh, South American hooker tours with his rich friends, um, shit like that. Yeah, I guess that's family. That's what Family of man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what? Nothing weird about a bunch of old dudes traveling around with suitcases full of Viagra, is there? Ew. <laughs> okay, yeah, this could be it until next year, folks. So, you know, chances are this is definitely our last Christmas, because we're all going to fucking die. And chances are it'll be our last show of the year, because he's got to go squish some heads. So until uh, next year, yeah. peace, good luck. Lil Coleman and no, that's welcome. See a few of you in Valhalla. Merry Xmas. We're here to take the X out of Christmas. <laughs> I think we've succeeded. Okay, until next time. 
Okay. My name is Spetty the Annihilator. An Annihilator. Anil yeah, okay. <laughs> I get it, I guess. Oofta.